name of this dance is Got a Hold on Me. It's a 64 count R&B uh, soul rhythm line dance. Uh, Co-choreographed by myself and Vivian Scott from Toronto, Canada. And I'm going to walk you through the steps, starting facing my, with my back to you, facing this way. Section one, weight is on my left. I'm going to lift off the left heel, a little lift, and at the same time my right foot comes up. Lift, cross, side, side, lift, cross, side, side. Next section, then we're going to cross with right. Cross, hold, back, side, cross, hold, back, quarter, turn. That will be the first section. Section two. Step forward on your right, hold, right, hold, and then chase to the right, making a half turn, stepping forward on your left, hold, and then we're going to do three rocks, stepping forward on the right, forward, recover, forward, hold, now we're going to kick and switch, kick, switch, kick, rock back, recover. From here, we're going to do a quarter turn right, and then side recover, cross, making an eighth of a turn to the right. Now you're facing your 730 corner, and now you do a mambo with a sweep with the right. Forward, recover, back as you sweep the left, square up at the 6 o'clock wall in the back, and we back, side, cross, hold. Next section, I'll uh, continue with the right now, finish with a step, quarter left. The last section, section four, is diagonal lock step syncopated style. Step, lock, step, step, lock, step, step forward, making uh, an eighth turn to face now your front wall. Now make a quarter turn on the left and face your nine o'clock wall, and do the syncopated diagonal lock steps one more time. Step behind, step, step behind, step. Okay? Now to get the rhythm, I'm going to do it with the counts. Section one. Starting with your weight on your left. Uh, one and two, uh, three and four, five, six and seven, eight, and section two one two and three four and five six and seven eight and section three quarter on one two and three four and five and six and seven eight and. Last section. One and two and three and four and five, six and seven and eight and. You notice we finish the first time, wall one finishes facing nine o'clock, that will be wall two. This is where you begin your restarts. Every time you end the dance facing 9 o'clock, you will do a restart after the first eight counts. There's a one slight change in the step. Instead of doing the eight counts with a quarter left turn on the and count after eight, you do a half turn left. So it'll look like this. Instead of turning a quarter to face six, we'll turn and face three o'clock and that will be wall two. So, here's how it will look. The first eight counts and then the restart will always be at three o'clock. Uh, one and two, uh, three and four, five, six and seven, eight and. Facing now three o'clock, restart. Uh, one and two and three and four. So you start the dance facing three o'clock. The dance has several restarts, but it's easy to remember because it's always the same wall. You do the first eight counts at three at nine o'clock, and then you restart the dance at three. 
Now there is an ending, so the last time you do the restart, do the first eight, here's the restart, we're going to do the first section, the second section, and just part of the third section, we'll just do the first four counts to face front. It'll look like this, facing three o'clock the last time. Uh, one and two, uh, three and four, five, six and seven, eight and two, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and the last four counts. I'm going to start with the right. Quarter, step, quarter, turn to the right, forward, hold. So you will finish the dance facing front. So you just turn an eighth of a turn more to the right on that scissor cross or side rock cross, side recover cross instead of to the corner, side recover to the front wall. Just a little bit more of a rotation to your right and you'll finish facing 12. And that's the dance. I hope you enjoy watching it. Thank you for, for watching.